Hi, welcome everybody. This is a special edition of the Dropcast Movie Poster Podcast. It's the New York Comic Con edition, and I'm here with this guy, Mr. Mark Bell. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? I uh, can't complain. I hope my voice is not gonna gonna go <laughs> while we're talking. And um, but you have some uh, great releases coming up, and we're going to talk about these and for the people. So um, some some I think that the the uh, vice press ones have been released, right? Yeah, they have. They got they got released last week. Um, I think some of them are still available as a pre order over at Sideshow. I think they um, they did a small allocation mm -hmm. over there as well. Um, so if you did miss out on Vice Press and you're in the US, you can probably pick them up there. Um, but yeah, sold out pretty fast over at Vice Press as well, which is exactly. really good. So some some of them are still there. Where we're going to talk about this in detail a little bit later. And um, you have also a private commission for Forrest Gump coming up, which is amazing. And then there's also some other work in progress. I couldn't figure out what that was. <laughs> well, yeah, I've, I've uh, did a little bit of a sneaky peek for uh, something I'm working on, a bit of a series for a gallery uh, later on in this year as well. All right, great. Good. So um, let's get into uh, the first part that uh, we already started with, which is uh, Shaun of the Dead, the Cornetto trilogy with Vice Press. So this is this is the final version, uh, the, the the final um, version of this particular poster, and um, what what was uh, the idea behind the trilogy, and what was your um, what was the what are the measurements and all like the the okay the well I mean stuff. <laughs> when I, when I started doing some artwork um, quite a while ago, I've always really been intrigued by that kind of um, twelve by twenty four sets that kind of fit into a. 24 by 36 that's split. I quite like that. Um, mm -hmm. I think um, when I was still kind of uh, starting out, I did a bit of a Lord of the Rings thing and it was, uh, I really liked it. Um, yeah, and I kind of, um, I kind of, it's obviously come from like people like Matt Ferguson and um, uh, there's just loads that have done this kind of format, but I really like it for some reason. I like the idea of a triptych on the wall that you can kind of separate and um, I mean, yeah. That was that was my first foray into the movie poster. Or the actually that I actually bought, which was the the Matt Ferguson um, Star Wars triptych with the ships. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah those are amazing. Well. Yeah, and, and he did like a black and white version as well, right? Yeah, I think it was a gold, gold and golden black or something That's like right, that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and yeah, it's hard, it's hard to get the twelve by twenty four. I mean, I uh, they came out like twenty sixteen or something like that, and. Um, Back then, uh, there I had them in a bigger frame with a mat and everything. But then I tried to get a twelve by twenty four only frame, so I ha can use as as much wall space as I have, and it was really hard to get one. And, and after that, it was hard to get other prints with that size to to like change them out because I, you, as you know, you know, I used to um, I uh, like to use um, the the space and change it out a little bit. And uh, yeah, but I got, I finally have um, the, the Marco Manev Star Wars trilogy up. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah, really amazing. The colors are so, oh, it's just incredible. <laughs> and I had, um, I think I had, I had the, the, the two Matt Ferguson sets going up my stairs. Like he decides he had uh, nice. three on each side and then at the top there was the, uh, the golem and the tree. Um, oh, awesome. The tree one as well, right at the top, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I've always been fascinated by that. But um I kind of had this cool idea with the whole um, uh, jumping, jumping the fences mm. thing because I'm a massive fan of uh, of Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz particularly. Uh, the World's End I love as well, but mm. probably probably less than those two. Yeah. Um, but obviously, they kind of had this running joke in uh, in all the films where there's a fence involved, and uh, <coughs> I just thought it would work really well across the whole lot with uh, yeah. with the same kind of oncoming joke. Um, and I believe at the time. Um, there was some issues with uh, with Simon Pegg's face, maybe I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but I think I I always like this um, this kind of idea of looking behind the character, looking at looking at something like looking yeah, at the it is, environment. It is basically like the Andy Fairhurst uh, Disney uh, prints, you know, where you have yeah, yeah. where you have the same view. Yeah. Yes, yeah, very much so. I, I mean, that comes um, originally from when I was uh, I used to work as a freelancer doing like um, album artwork and t-shirts for bands and I used to have that kind of central figure with a atmosphere or a uh, environment behind them and I, I guess that a lot of that kind of comes from there that kind of uh, looking behind something kind of seeing what the person in the print or the um, the art can see but with them in it as well yeah 
And um, you you gave me also some work in progress images like these ones before. Is that is that how you sketch? Is that basically a done deal? <laughs> I mean, this looks finished. Almost. No, it's not. Yeah, it kind of the the first two I kind of just sketched real fast, <laughs> just to kind of um, just to get my ideas onto it. Um, and I, I don't think it really changed much. Like I did, I did. I think the colors are really similar to why yeah. what I picked originally. Um, it's maybe a touch darker. I think I went redder in the final images. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's really similar. <laughs> yeah, and, um, but is that is that uh, the the kind of sketches you do, or or do you oh, do yeah, like simpler yeah. sketches beforehand? Mm, I think when I'm initially working on a concept, I will start with just drawing mm -hmm. line work, um, and it's just purely to get the the composition really, just to see mm -hmm. where things will sit, uh, and I'll play around with that for a bit, and then I usually put the color in just to see what I can do color wise, and then from there, if that's something I like, or if that's something that the um, person or gallery whoever it may be likes as well mm. that's what i try to try to stick to i might throw weird things in like i think i missed out the whole street in, in hot flows and stuff but um, mm. i've added that in um i like drawing clouds so i usually add a lot of clouds into stuff <laughs> mm. how um is that um by the way when 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 you look at these um is, is that all digitally done or do you also take a pen and paper up Uh, only initially, I'll, I'll maybe do pen and paper when I'm sat kind of at a table, kind of uh, working on ideas. I, I, but I, more often than not, it's digitally. Um, mm. so, sometimes, if I'm like uh, visiting my parents or if I'm, you know, out mm. and about, I'll, I'll sit and draw an idea maybe. But that doesn't really get scanned in or anything like that. I usually just take that and start digitally after mm. that as well. So. Awesome. Yeah, there's some really great prints. And uh, yeah, if, if you try to get them, if you missed out on the Vice Press drop, head over to Sideshow and uh, try to get them there. There's, uh, there's still a couple available. And um, yeah, and uh, APs are going uh, yes, to happen? Yeah. Um, yeah, the guys were kind enough to get some APs for me as well, which is great. So I'll have them... Um, I'm not sure when actually. Have yeah. a, <laughs> my partner is going to be giving birth in about three oh. to five weeks. So okay, uh, okay, sometime, right. sometime before then, or sometimes after then. I don't think in between. I'll probably get much chance to do anything. So <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. I mean, APs always take a little bit while, uh, a little longer anyway. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. First things first, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, do you already know the, the 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 gender of the baby? Uh, yes. Yeah, we're having a little girl, which is uh, awesome. going to be amazing. You got a and name, I, I, or you're not telling? I've got. We got some names in. We got some names in mind, but I'm not sure. I want to get it out in the world just yet, <laughs> just in case. She may turn up, and it might just be a different matter of uh, doesn't yeah. look like this person. So uh. <laughs> awesome. We, we turned this podcast into to a gender reveal party and name reveal party. <laughs> but yeah, like an gift for that where like balloons pop up and stuff, and then yeah. we set fire to the Amazon. Is that, is that something we can do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so our next piece, I we already teased it a little bit here. It is a private commission piece for Forrest Gump. And um, before we're going to see the final version, I'm going to start out with this very intriguing uh, piece of art here <laughs> for Forrest Gump. I think the colors are amazing on this one. And I think the idea is better than the final product, I have to say. How do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Let's let's oh, no. let's talk about it. What's the wrong route, man? <laughs> What's that? I've gone the wrong route. <laughs> I mean, I mean, is, did you just did, did you decide on it or did the uh, commission? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I I had a few different ideas before I uh, before we came up with the final piece. Mm. Um, now, the, I think the thing I I love this. I love the colors. It's really my kind of style of things with the yeah. kind of environment with the, uh, the the explosion and all that kind of stuff. Like, absolutely love it. But I think what we tried to get across in the final print um, mm. was less about it being one specific scene. And less about it being destructive. We wanted it to be a more of a positive print. Hence, oh. when we finished with it, you maybe see where we kind of went to with that. Yeah, so. we're gonna, gonna show that here. There's uh, there's the another work in progress stage here, which yes. looks also amazing. I like the shattered uh, the, the shattering yeah. of. Uh, I think this <laughs> uh, this resembles also the the shattering of his leg braces and like you know turning into the man yeah. he is, right? Yeah, there's, there's there's a few things I kind of was trying to point out in that. Um, I think there's a whole scene where Jenny like throws. Uh, throws rocks yeah. at the end, smashes glass, there's the whole break on the leg braces. I think ultimately though with that one we felt that it was um it seemed like Forrest himself was broken and that's kind of the opposite of what the film was about. So that's why we didn't go any further with that. But it could also be interpreted as he, he broke free. 
Yes, yes. So no, maybe if I'd have got the main character out at the front of that, like I've done with the final piece, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the final piece we have here is uh, this one, which looks really cool. It keeps it in in this. I think that those colors are very suit like suit the movie very very well, and I think this yeah. uh, works perfect also. Um, but yes. I still would love some destruction. <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> I mean, like I mean you kept it. You kept the destruction. as destruction there in the top there. So. Yes. Yeah. It's in there. It's in there in part as well. Um, I did actually have. Um, I did have a version of this that was full color as well. So, um, but it kind of forest just kind of didn't sit right in there. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of a negative space, which I think works well when you've got a limited color palette. Um, mm. When you got all the colors thrown in there, it was just a bit messy looking. Maybe I, I think I think mm. I think we've toned it down. It looks pretty good. I think. Yeah. Uh, what was the choice on having the negative space in the right corner there? I, do, do you know what? It, it's not even a, a conscious thing. Sometimes, like okay. I hear a lot yeah, of sure. my pieces just have a big chunk of negative space because I quite like it. <laughs> just yeah. the, it's, it's pleasing to my eye <laughs> yeah i, I mean spoke to one of my friends and uh just when we were deciding what characters we should put where and that and um he said i should just put forest mum up in the top corner and i was like no what i'm <laughs> gonna leave it just leave that blank <laughs> yeah. yeah um uh is there is there a decision i mean can, do you have to have the bench in there mm, i did toy I, again i toyed with it there um putting it in there a little bit but there's there's a few prints out there that use the bench and obviously the actual poster itself mm. is is the bench i kind of wanted to get away okay. something that kind of has a bit of everything um something that kind of goes through all his experiences and stuff like that mm. um and he's kind of coming out the back of that that's what i quite like um and it, i mean it's really close to the bench he's wearing the same suit yeah. and it's pretty much as he gets up to run to jenny's house with the, with a note in his hands you know mm. uh, and a briefcase and chocolates and stuff so yeah, it's close. I think it references it, but not by putting the bench in there. I think that would have been um, a bit easy, I think. Uh, if, if I could decide if you do another uh, poster uh, for Forrest Gump, I would love to see the ping pong scene. <laughs> or, <laughs> yes. or have, a, have the ping pong, uh, playing ping pong in, 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 the, in the middle there, you know, as, as the main thing. <laughs> uh, there, was, there was a ping pong bat in the, uh, in the left-hand side next to the title. Okay. Um, we took it out in the end i think it was it again it started we kind of like the water there and it was just crowding it a little bit i think we need to like a bit of space around the title just to kind of uh yeah, yeah. i think so too it, it turned out really well and uh, what's the size of the print and uh, so edition it's, size so it's a 20 uh, 24 by 36 um the edition size as of yet we are not sure what we're going to do is um We've got an interest group that we're going to open up, which is um, you don't have to um, purchase it if you want to join. So it's just a, oh, okay. trying to get a group of people together. We, it's similar to a commission, but I think the problem with this is obviously the artwork is already done. So it's not um, not going to be the same where we you know we get a commission group and then a lot of people get yeah. to put in their input and stuff. It's just going to be a bit of a this is what we're going to go for. Like, And if you're interested, join the group. And then from there on, we, we can kind of uh, manage it and see what we're going to do. But I imagine... Um, It'll probably probably be around the 50 mark i would imagine if we can get more that'd be great um right. something that i wanted to point out as well is that we um we were going to do some of the proceeds to uh the gary um sinise foundation um mm. in america which kind of they deal with um a lot of kind of uh disabled vets and that kind of stuff mm. which is obviously really um really integral to the mo to the movie as well um, and yeah. the commission is an american guy and i'm like i'm all, all for that i think that'd be pretty cool is um it, it, this is a screen print right not a g clay or anything yeah no it's a screen print i think it, uh we did some working out and it doesn't look like it about here but i think it's around the 11 or 12 color mark so <laughs> all right all right yeah yeah it, i i would i wouldn't have thought i was like said like maybe five <laughs> yeah no, no no there's a few more than that unfortunately okay. <laughs> it actually had less colors in it um before it was all blue when it had the original all they were all colorful mm -hmm. it was less colors than it Weird, <laughs> now it's, weird how it works huh it's very strange how screen printing works but yeah but great piece um people <laughs> in, in, i think we're going to put it in show notes right mark so people can yes, find yeah, it yeah, and, the, um, the link to the uh, the link to the interest group will be right there so just jump in there's no pressure to um to get involved in the final piece but at least we can kind of uh, gauge the interest and go from there i think so Awesome. Sounds very good. So people uh, hit up the interest group uh, because I think this is a really cool print and um, it's kind of a timed edition, I guess. Uh, so get get your chances to, to grab one of these. 
And last but not least, you brought us a little teaser of uh, this. <laughs> is this, what, what is this, Hogwarts? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, it's Hogwarts. Yeah. Okay, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yes. No. I mean, I'm a massive, massive Harry Potter fan. Um, I kind of was speaking to um, to a gallery about doing a set of these, um, and yeah, um, things are in the works. So, um, and it looks like it, it may be a set potentially. It's looking like it potentially might be a screen print as well. Like Again, all um, of them? utilizing. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> let's, right. let's see. We'll, we'll try and see how it's going on, but. Um, Kind of utilizing my twelve by twenty four, nice, nice set, kind of same, same size that I like. <laughs> so, uh, but there's there's some cool ideas in it, some cool composition ideas as well, which you can't see in that. But um, I just kind of thought I'd throw it in there just to kind of give I'm a excited. bit of excited. Like, yeah, yeah, it reminds me color wise. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Dan Mumford, like you know, oh, yeah, this yeah, color yeah. palette. Yes, yeah. Do you know what I love Dan, and he's the reason I got into um, screen print. Uh, oh, uh, awesome artwork and screen print and he, he i got one of his pieces uh his zombie pieces very mm. early on 2013 i would say huh. and, uh, we were both in the same circles um being from like from london and doing the punk scene and that we kind of was very uh, involved okay. in similar bands, so yeah, it was quite interesting <laughs> but yeah he loves clouds and those colors as well so yeah anything like that kind of tends <laughs> to remind me of dan's work yeah, yeah that's, that's great. I mean, um, can can you say which gallery is going to be with, and is there a timetable? Maybe no, there's nothing yet. I, I I couldn't say just in case the gallery turn mm. around going. No, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. So, um, but yeah, it's not it's not one I've worked with yet. So it's kind of going to be quite interesting. All right, sounds very good. Um, is there anything else you want to uh, shout out or let the people know in terms of New York Comic Con releases? Uh, what's what's happening in your artist life? No, in my world, New York Comic Con, I haven't really got anything going on for New York Comic Con, actually. I think the um, there's a potential for the Harry Potter one to be for San Diego, but that's going to be a different uh, mm. different, different chat, I imagine. Um, yeah, I've just been seeing all the work that's been released for New York Comic Con. There's loads of really cool stuff out there. So uh, just shout out to everyone that's doing stuff. I'll, awesome, uh, yeah. But I'll yeah, see. thank you so much, Mark, for coming on and talking about yeah, the pieces that... Fun come out soon and uh, future releases as well so uh, this is just a short one for you people so you can uh, be on the be on on the update here on the latest comic con news and uh, we will be having more artists on in uh, the in the, in the next two weeks probably and we also have the the typical release show it's going to be a little bit more often than uh, we used to but uh, i think you will also enjoy these short and quick interviews with some great people and uh, yeah again mark thank you so much for coming on and uh, we got something for you guys uh, mark mark is also going to be in the art book that i'm doing and uh, yeah this his piece is amazing everybody i showed it to was like oh my god that's the best idea why did nobody else do it so i know i love it as well <laughs> be, be excited people and um we will get you some news on that soon we're working on it the kickstarter is going to come in about two to three weeks and then this project is going to hit off people all right thank you again mark and uh, we'll see each other soon take care guys bye, -bye.